What's up guys, Mist here, and today I'm going to be reviewing a Dosco headband. Uh, this is the Boruto version. Yeah, if you're not familiar, Dosco makes headbands. Um, I'll show you some of the examples. They have the orange Uzumaki one, which is right here. And they have the Hidden Cloud Village one, which is right here. So I decided to get a Boruto one, which means that it does not have a like a tied back like this one does as you can tell there's like right right here it's got like a tie on the back so this is how it looks basically it's not a tied back it's more of a, an elastic it's very stretchable um this is um kunohamaru's headband if you're not familiar of boruto um well naruto to boruto next generation Basically, um, the three main characters of the anime, the they have the red one for Sarda, they have the black one for um, Boruto, and then they have the Mitsuki one, which is gray, which I actually have that one, but it's in my box somewhere. Um, I have to go through all my boxes to get all the headbands. And then I have the blue one, which is from uh, Kunohamaru. The blue one, I like it a lot. Um, they're very rare to get most of the times, but the gray one is a little rarer to get too. But it doesn't really matter. Usually they restock these pretty quickly. Um, when you get this headband, it basically comes with a sticker thing on it. What I do is I actually trim the edges. As you can see. Um, basically, to trimming them um, prevents the, the black paint from coming off. Also, it prevents any fingerprints on the plate. Um, usually, the sticker will get removed. Um, it will come off on its own. But that's usually when you, like, dirty it or whatever or get it in through a very high impact. To the point that it just doesn't want to stick anymore. Now, this headband, it's... It's... Does, it won't fit for someone that's an adult size like myself. However, in time, you need to have the elastic to stretch itself. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but um, you have to get the elastic to stretch. As you can see, it's already warning out on its own. Um, once it's stretched, immediately, um, it will probably start fitting your head. It's fitting mine already. Um, I have a Mitsuki one. Um, the only thing is, I do not recommend you guys wearing this headband um, for a very long time. Wearing this headband um, for like four hours can cause you lightheaded to the point that you'll pass out because it cuts the circulation towards your head. But it is very useful to wear. Um, the elastic will tend to get very loose to the point that you will tend to have it to fit your head. Um, this is for the adults, um, but this is perfect for kids. If you want to get a borrowed to headband, you can get one on Amazon. They sell these, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Um, the headband itself does come. Let me show you quick. Does come on like this uh, leather patch. When you're sweating in this, the elastic will tend to like get loose. You have to stretch it. Like this is your entire head here. You have to wear it like like this like on your head like that or if not people wear it straight like this but I usually um, have it like that or something like that and, it's, and it looks good to be honest it really does look good um, so if you're interested in getting a Boruto headband you can look for one on eBay and Amazon they sell them I know there's a, a couple of blue ones but they get restocked occasionally so if you want any of the colors of Boruto and Go ahead and um, uh, let me know. Comment in the comment section below, and I'll go ahead and send it to you guys the link. Um, but as always, guys, this is the bar to headband that I'm wearing. Um, as you can see, I even bended it to its rightful shape. So, um, any questions that you guys have, let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.